Hey guys, Jano Zero. Uh, if you remember from my last video, uh, I did a review on this this uh, EEP uh, solar LED lighting system. Um, Lobuck sent me a message, uh, and he says that if anybody is interested in purchasing one of these units, uh, you go to the website and enter the code Prepper2, and it will get you a discount. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. You have to go watch Lobuck's video. Uh, he did a review on this system as well. Uh, so I'll put a link to his channel uh, down below there, the Lobuck Prepper. And uh, you guys can go and, uh, and check out his review on this. And uh, like I say, if you're interested in purchasing one from the, from the website, enter the code PREPPER2 and you will get a discount. So let's go check out the solar panel. All righty. 45 watt solar panel kit that uh, you would get from the Harbor Freight. The um, it was it was very easy to assemble. It was very easy to follow. The frame now instead of being those little st steel pieces is this one came with uh, like a PVC pipe type frame. Um, everything was already pre-drilled and lined up, and it was very very easy and simple to uh, to install and to uh, to hook up. Each panel has a little uh, little wire that plugs into the to, uh, a bigger wire, and I ran it underneath the deck and right over to here. The charge controller, which says that it's got some, I guess that means it's got some power coming in it since it's uh, reading 12.4 or whatever that is. And I just got it sitting on top of a mill crate, and I hooked up the charge controller to just an old car battery that I have underneath there. I need to get, I need to get some better batteries for it to charge. But right now, that car battery, that old car battery, is all that I have, and uh, I'm doing the best with what I have. So I'm going to let that charge that battery up for a couple days, and then I'm going to hook up an inverter that a friend sent to me, and then. Uh, probably run the, uh, an extension cord into the house here and uh, run my computer and my fan and, and, and lights on this end of the house uh, with the solar panel and the, and, the, and the batteries as soon as I can get some decent batteries. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this old dog house here out of the way and right here I'm going to try to build uh, a little box that way whenever I do get a battery I can put it in there and then start getting more batteries as we go and I uh, have eventually I'd like to have a little battery bank that I can run uh, into the house and uh, use it for a lot more you know to, to power a lot more just from uh, the sun generation but everybody you know we, we got to start someplace and this is where I'm starting right there with uh, the one kit the uh, charge controller and the one old car battery which I'm not even sure it's going to take a charge I mean this is really old but this kit also came with uh, a couple of lights that you can plug in, that you can plug in right straight to the uh, the charge controller here. I guess if you need to have your lights on during the day, it'll it'll light them up. But uh, I, I I don't see any need for that. I'm trying to run every, try to. I, the main thing that I want to do with this is to get some more batteries uh, and and have a battery bank set up to where I can charge and use that use the power that way to run my computers. Um, and my, uh, you know, the, the fan and the, my TV and stuff like that on this end of the house. So that's uh, that's my goal. This is the first giant step of that goal. Um, like I say, this uh, this Thunderbolt um, solar kit was really easy to understand, really easy to assemble. Uh, I, like I said, hopefully it's going to charge up that old battery. Uh, if it doesn't, then eventually I'll get some more batteries, uh, some. Deep cycle marine batteries is what I'm hearing. That needs to be uh, oh, that'll work the best for for these. And uh, I haven't even priced them yet because, well, I just I haven't. So there you go. Uh, so far, so good on this uh, Thunderbolt solar panel kit. I'm going to try to, like I say, going to try to get a little system set up here where I can. Uh, eventually run most of the household off of uh, off of solar power you know over the over the course of the time I'll try to get uh, some more solar panels 
and I'll get some more panels and a better charge controller and, and stuff like that and just add on to the system from here. But like I say, this is the first step of, uh, on a big step of becoming a lot more self-sufficient. And I realize that's something that's going to take a lot of time and it's going to take, you know, uh, some, some money and some investments. And I will do that as I can, when I can. Um, and I will do videos uh, about it as I, as I update stuff and as I move it along. I will uh, give you guys updates on the videos. And this is where we're starting at. And uh, like I say, I'll put, a, I'll put a link to Lowbuck's channel down there so you guys will remember to put that code in. It'll save you a little bit of money. So for now, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, God bless in the end. Buzz, buzz, the end.